shock. Patrick J. Adams mercilessly exposed Meg's disgusting nature ruining her acting career utterly. Patrick J. Adams revealed the Duchess of Sussex, and former Suits co-star, Meghan Markle once ripped into him when she saw him in the buff during one of his Broadway play performances. She certainly was at the play where I was naked and she had a good time making fun of me after, the actor, 40, told Entertainment Tonight Wednesday, before joking, so, maybe she'd like a repeat performance. When asked if he'd invite Markle to see him in another show of Richard Greenberg's 2003 Tony-winning play Take Me Out, Adams said, I'll send her an invite for sure. The co-stars played love interests on Suits for nine seasons. Adams starred as Mike Ross, a college dropout turned unlicensed lawyer, and Markle played a paralegal at the office where Ross worked. Although the series wrapped in 2019 after Markle wed Prince Harry, Adams and the new member of the British royal family maintained a strong friendship. Adams attended the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's royal wedding in May 2018 alongside his wife, Troy and Belisario, at Windsor Castle in the UK. In March 2021, he also voiced support for his former co-star amid claims she bullied her royal aides. He tweeted at the time, she has always been a powerful woman with a deep sense of morality and a fierce work ethic and has never been afraid to speak up, be heard and defend herself and those she holds dear. Adams then blasted the royal family, whom he described as at best complicated and at worst, seemingly archaic and toxic and defended Markle, who faced endless racist, slanderous, clickbaiting vitriol from the British press. In other news, Meghan Markle's comments directed at Gate, the Duchess of Cambridge in the bombshell Oprah interview with really damaging, it has been claimed. Meghan Markle told Oprah Winfrey that Kate made her cry ahead of her wedding after stories suggested that it was Meghan Markle who had made Kate cry. The Mail on Sunday's assistant editor Kate Mansey claimed these comments damaged the relationship between Princes Harry and William. Speaking to Palace Confidential on Mail Plus, Ms. Mansey said, It was such a shame. It was described to me as civil which is palace courtier for what the rest of us would refer to as frosty. You do wonder whether it could be their kind of gift to the Queen to make up somehow. But there's been so much said obviously, Oprah. I do think those comments aimed at Kate were extremely damaging to the brothers' friendship. Then we have this book coming out and who knows what will be in it. Reports had circulated ahead of the Sussexes' nuptials that Meghan left Kate in tears at Princess Charlotte's bride's maid dress fitting, but Meghan told Winfrey the reverse happened. Meghan said she was not sharing the information to be disparaging, and described Kate as a good person, but added it was really important for people to understand the truth. Meghan said Kate apologized and bought her flowers, adding that she has forgiven her. She told the chat show host, the narrative with Kate, which didn't happen, was really, really difficult and something that. I think that's when everything changed really. Winfrey pressed Meghan, so specifically, did you make Kate cry? Meghan said no and when asked where that story came from and whether there was a situation where Kate might have cried, Meghan said, no, no, the reverse happened. And I don't say that to be disparaging to anyone, because it was a really hard week of the wedding, and she was upset about something, but she owned it and she apologized and she brought me flowers and a note apologizing, and she did what I would do if I knew that I'd hurt someone, right, to just take accountability for it. Harry and Meghan crossed the red line in deciding to walk away from the monarchy, a royal biographer has said. Angela Levin said the Queen was a patient woman but that she was devoted to her sense of duty and the protection of the royal family. The Queen, doesn't want the royal family's name to be tainted in that way and this, I think, crossed the red line, she said. She's a very patient woman, she's not a micromanager. She lets her children and grandchildren do what they want up to a certain extent and when they overstep that, she comes down.